What's up gamers? Today we're headed back to the streets in the International Transtar 4070A. The Transtar is a free truck, found derelict in the swamps south of the Smithville Dam. You'd be forgiven for wondering if aliens had plonked this thing down there where no road going truck could ever reach, but alas, this truck with no all wheel drive or diff locking ability is located where no roadbound truck has gone before. Sadly, issues and oddities quickly become the common theme with this truck. The licensed in-game model is based on the 1968 International Harvester Cab Over 4070A, but was marketed to the public as the Transtar 4070A. It comes with the stunning 60s look we all love and it was even loaded with a DVT 573 diesel V8, giving it 260 horsepower and 578 newton meters of torque. With that pulling power behind it, the Transtar saw major use in construction and goods transport from its introduction until its eventual phase-out in 1974, being replaced by the cab over 4070B, commonly known as the Transtar 2. The original truck is still fairly sought after today, with its unique looks and 60s style as base, some enthusiasts have created some real showstoppers. The mechanical modifications for the Transtar are mostly the same as other large trucks, but it's missing three vital upgrades that turn even the lamest duck into somewhat decent off-roaders. The Transtar has no suspension, no all-wheel drive, and no diff-lock upgrades at all. What that means is this truck will barely improve in functionality beyond the condition you find it in with tyre replacement being the only thing that you can do to improve the versatility of this truck. It's almost a meme then to also give the Transtar a snorkel upgrade that sits well above the height of the cab when it loses traction in a small puddle. The cosmetic modifications are very standard. The overall match to the original look of the Transtar is spot on. However, there isn't much here to make your Transtar unique. Compound this by the fact that you should never change the front bumper to anything but the stock version or this will happen to you driving along flat roads. Too bad we don't get race suspension, am I right? The handling for this truck is decent on roads where she belongs, and of the highway trucks she does fairly well on dirt paths as long as her high centre of gravity is managed. But again, the moment it touches mud, it's all over. Low gear and patience will do little to help this low profile truck out of most situations and half of each tank of gas is likely to be just spent on using the winch. Overall, the International Transtar 4070A looks great with its 60s panel work and styling, but when this truck is pitted against the world of SnowRunner, it doesn't have a single redeeming feature to convince you to keep it on your fleet. So, like the Scout 800, consider this truck a free cash injection and nothing more. So if you enjoyed this look at the rolling disappointment that is the Transtar, or just want to see more SnowRunner content, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in Michigan soon.